about 20 minutes into my uh, walk and I'm in the middle of New Quay, walking as near to the beach as I possibly can and I bumped into this guy Andy. Good morning Andy. Morning Jim, nice uh, to be here. And you're not originally from this neck of the woods are you? No, no, I uh, grew up on the Isle of Wight. Oh and, uh, really? Yeah, yeah, I lived here for about 20 years. Right, yeah. so how, yeah. about 20 years? Yeah. Oh well that's yeah. brilliant. And yeah. uh, you work in the sort of surfboard industry as such? Yeah, yeah, just started in the um, Karma surf shop, just around the corner here in Nuki. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I mean, every time I every time I come to these bays, you see lots and lots of surfers. I mean, that's obviously a big attraction to uh, New Quay. Is a big attraction to these people, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's one of the biggest industries. Yeah, in town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Andy's just brought me here, and, and this is Dave, and this is Karma Surfboards. So, how long have we been going then, Dave? Uh, we've been here since 1989. Yes. Um, but I've been making surfboards since 1970. Oh, so you're pretty well established then, I guess, yeah. obviously from, from, from the beautiful stock you've got of all of these things. I, I've never been in a surfing shop before, and, and to be honest, it's, it's something I've never ever considered, but obviously New Key is a big thing for surfers. It's, it's the, the sort of magnet, isn't it? Really? It does seem to be, yes, yeah. 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 yeah I mean, there are other places around the, the country that surf and that, but New Key seems to be the, uh, the place for it, but just because that's where it, um, a lot of it started in this country, really. So, uh, yeah, and that's so, yeah, it, it has it has the probably the longest history um, yes. of surfing in the country, so yeah, yeah, well, that's amazing. And is this like obviously this is all year round, it's 12 months a year, uh, yes, yeah, it drops off in, in, a bit in the winter, but yes, um, we're open uh, 12 months a year, and that's so, yes, yeah, so, so, oh, that's brilliant, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, it's lovely to meet right, you okay. uh, and, and Andy as well, and, and yeah. it, it, it's 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 very nice to look into a, a kind of a new world to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. thank you very much for your That's hospitality right. You're and friendliness. Cheers. Yeah. yeah, and all the best to, uh, on your uh, walk around Britain. Thank you very yeah. much. Right. So right. I would imagine you, you you do these mail order and you'll have a website. Uh, we do have a website. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, what is the website? It's uh, manyreturnssurfboards.co.uk. And then we have a Facebook page, uh, which is Karma Surfboards. two surfers in front of me. This is Nicole and this is Tessa. Tessa. Hello. And uh, how often do you come on the beach, Tessa? Well, we're on holiday here, so for a week. Right. And uh, we've been here since last Saturday and um, we left, uh, we will leave uh, this uh, su Sunday. So right. It's going fast, but uh, the yeah. whole week we were uh, twice a day in the water so uh, right. yeah. Right, what, what I mean I don't know anything about surfing to be honest with you so what are the conditions like here? Well I'm just a beginner so I'm not oh. the right person to ask. Oh, right. but oh well no well, that's okay but, but where are you from by the way? Uh, from Holland. From Holland? Oh, yes, well, that's I live on the island Schelling so. Oh right, yeah. there'll be no surfing over there then I guess. Yeah, it is, but it's way better here. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and, and you, I guess you're you're from Holland as well. You've come yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're with a group of fifteen, I think, or twenty. Oh, really? Yeah. So we're we're all different levels. I'm more of an intermediate server. Um, yeah. She's more of a beginner. We have a few better servers as well, but. Um, the spot here at own is really nice for more beginners, intermediate surfers. Right. Um, because the waves are a little bit um, smaller, because the swell comes in a little bit less here. It's yes. a little, yeah, yeah. Hiding, hidden spot, so it's nice. They tell me in the summer here, like there's, there's about 50, 60, 70, 80 or more people on each wave. Is that right? Have you been here? Um, I haven't been here yet. This is my first time here, so oh, I haven't right. been here yet in the summer. Oh, right. um, yeah, we usually go to the south of France in summer because the waves oh, there are oh, really good as well. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the weather is a little bit better. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, it's been a pleasure meeting you, yeah, ladies. Yeah, you too. And, and have a nice holiday. Thank you. And, right. and have a good time. Thank you yes. very much. Goodbye.
Well, I'm at Fish Drill Head now, and this is Mark and Adrian. Um, so, what are you doing here today? Is, it, is this a regular thing for you to come to this point? No, our first time down here, and it's absolutely amazing. We know South Cornwall quite well, but not the North Coast, and we're just blown away by it. It's amazing. It's, it's really absolutely wild. It's gorgeous, beautiful. isn't it? It's yeah. like just, just as nature has been like this for thousands and thousands of years. Exactly. As well. Getting back to nature, it's yeah. just really, really amazing. Really. Lovely part of the world. So where are you from, Mark? Oh, we're from Salisbury. Ah, that's quite a nice neck of the woods, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, we live uh, just south of okay, in the New Forest. It's lovely. Oh, that's beautiful. I'll be, I'll be sort of walking around there probably in a month or two. I mean, if this weather continues to be as mild as it is now, we are making rapid progress, actually. But uh, it's, it's really a fantastic adventure. And do, do you do, I mean, I know you're on the coastal path now, but are you walkers at yeah, all? Yeah, we are walkers. We've got our dog with us, yes. Roxy. She loves walkers. She, she loves it. Time. She's speech. gorgeous, isn't she? And uh, yeah, we know bit, very bits of the coastal path, and it's it's also different. It's, yeah. it's uh, really yes. nice. To I mean, see. people tell me it's much more rugged on the north coast than the south coast of Cornwall. Yes. And I must admit, I found that when I was walking down out of Devon into Cornwall, the first two or three days actually in Cornwall were pretty tough. Yeah. It was really up and down, you know, big steep hills. Yes, and, yeah. And it reminded me very much of Pembrokeshire on the coastal path as well. Yes. That's, you know, yeah, that's they're quite similar kind of apparently. We yeah. haven't done Pembrokeshire yet, but I'd love to do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, really nice. Garden, yeah. Yeah, Fishguard and uh, uh, let me see if the capital place, what is it now? Uh, Oh, I can't remember, sorry, my, ne my memory for places is so, it goes from been my head so quick. There's been a lot of places, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll think of it in a minute. Yeah. But look, it's been a real pleasure to meet you. I know, oh, you know, The only you. problem is with the wind noise here, I just hope that this comes out. And if you look on YouTube and it doesn't, you'll understand that it's too windy. <laughs> but this happened to me two or three times over the last couple of days where it's been quite pleasant sunshine, but the wind is so strong interviewing people is quite difficult yeah, so, so yeah. I, but I do hope this turns out because you're lovely people it's yes. been a pleasure to meet you and you're pleasure always, to meet and we you hope and you have a great luck. trip as well thank Sounds you very amazing. much indeed we'll pleasure. follow you on, uh, you. on Facebook thank you bye bye now bye bye Good morning. It's about 11 o'clock on Friday the 16th of November and here I am at the Fistral Beach Bar. As you can see from the photographs and the video that I've been taking since I left the van this morning walking through Newquay, it's been quite dramatic really and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. It hasn't really done much for my progress in terms of walking today, but that's not an issue with me. I'm really enjoying this and it's not many times in your life that you get an opportunity to see such natural beauty in such a wonderful place. And I'm absolutely taken with Newquay and its people. And I've met lots of other people who are taking a winter break in this part of the world. And uh, they too speak very highly of this and uh, I'm enjoying every minute. John that I've just met who's was, was offered me some really good advice about, uh, about the tides at the moment and, and the walk ahead of me. So 
John, you're a surfer. This is your lunch break, apparently, and yeah. you've just, you're just having a bit of a dip. Yeah. What is it that attracts people to, to, to surf in? Uh, it's just a beautiful place to be. Yeah. Uh, there's no other place like it. You can be out there on your own, or you can be out there with your friends. Um, and just the power of the ocean and the earth. Yes. It's a cool feeling when you're up and riding a wave. I suppose it's like climbers to a certain degree. There's yeah. a risk involved. Yeah, absolutely. There's a absolutely. danger involved, and and that's the buzz, really. Yeah, absolutely. Um, apart from apart from getting, a, you know, I don't know the terminology, but getting, you know, got surfing a long way or yeah, or yeah. all that kind. Well, of Well, I mean, as you can see, there's tons of people out there now, and yeah, it's just perfect conditions for it, really. Yes. Oh well, that's really good. <laughs> Do you live locally? Yeah, just up the road. Oh well, that's brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Wouldn't want to live anywhere else. Oh, absolutely. Well, anyway, thanks for all your advice, John. No worries, You're a mate. Lovely man. Cheers, mate. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye now. Bye. See you.
Well, here I am at the Truguth Inn in uh, Hollywell. I've done about a 15 mile walk today. Uh, the weather's been pretty good actually, but there was a the, the wind certainly increased this afternoon and the sun hasn't really poked through all day. I got here around about uh, three o'clock to find that um, the buses run every four hours and I'd just missed one. And the pub here didn't open until five o'clock. So uh, I'm just having a, a pint while I'm waiting for a taxi which will be arriving around about 10 to 6, which should take about half an hour to get into, uh, into Newquay. I'm going to be spending the night editing. I've got loads and loads of footage today, which I hope has come out okay, but it, was, it might be rather spoiled by the wind, because as the day went on, the wind got stronger and stronger, and it was quite a battle actually walking against it in the end, walking into this place along the beach where the wind was blowing. It was almost like being in a sandstorm on the desert. But it's been, it's been great. This pub that I'm in now is actually, was actually built in the 13th century. It's got, uh, I don't know whether all the, the beams are original, but it's got a thatched roof. roof. And it's, uh, when I say a typical Cornish pub, I'm sure there are more typical than this, particularly, but um, it's, it, it looks the kind of thing that you would see um, in, in, a, in a TV programme, you know, where, where it would have been a, a 12th century, something like Poldark or something like that. Um, I'm, I'm just speculating, but if you know what I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a very oldy worldy Cornish pub. Um, within... 10 minutes of the, the pub opening, there's, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 people in. Obviously they all live in the village, it must be a bit of a community thing. I notice in the other bar there's a, a photograph of a football team from here, a, a local football team. Um, but anyway, tomorrow, and my plan now is, um, I'm going to be walking to Perronporth and past Perronporth. I'm hoping to get to St Agnes and um, I'm going to do the same again as I did this morning. Be up early, go and have a breakfast and get a bus back to here again and then set off and walk as far southwest as I can towards Land's End. If I can make St Angus, sorry, St Agnes, that would be brilliant. But it really is time for me to start looking now for a, a campsite with hookup for the last assault onto Land's End. The other thing with that is um, video, making the, uh, the videos and um, having to use my petrol generator, which is rather noisy, even though it's not affecting or bothering anybody. Um, it, it affects me because I can hear it all of the time. It's like a drone outside the van. I've got to keep it close to the van as well. But um, it's been a good day. It's been thoroughly enjoyable. And uh, I've seen a lot of things today that uh, just make you kind of fall in love with this place. I think New Quay's a magnificent place. Totally enjoyed it. The people, got talking to lo loads of local people at the, in the cafes and all this kind of stuff. Fantastic, lovely. And uh, so that's it. I'm just waiting for the taxi and I'll see you tomorrow.